potentially, uh, is that they fall into the hands of the wrong people. And we see in the United States that that's what happens, and they fall into the hands of children. And those children use those firearms and they kill themselves and other people in scores. And I know this can, is a real situation because it's a situation I have been. As a 15-year-old, my father had a friend come and stay with us. He and his wife were estranged. He was a, a shooter. And they had particular rule laws in Tasmania allowed him to carry a number of firearms, including a 22 calibre handgun. He left that handgun in our house next to the toilet. He was reloading it. I, he, he left it there. He was meeting his estranged wife because she was in a per particular situation. She was going to give him, he was going to give her that handgun, but he forgot it. I came home, I went to the toilet, I looked across, there was a small rusty handgun. I picked it up. I walked out of the toilet and I was bouncing it in my hand. I'd never seen a handgun in my life. I bounced it in my hand. I walked out of the toilet and into the kitchen and I put it underneath my brother's chin and I pulled the trigger and it clicked. I looked around, I pulled it again and I blew a hole in the wall. Gunpowder everywhere. The only reason I did not kill my brother was because he, was a re he had left the first chamber empty. It was a revolver. And he had left that handgun inadvertently around the house and that, having those firearms in the house, did not make anyone safer. It did not make his wife safer. It did not make me safer. And so for that reason, it, any attempt to water down the safe storage of firearms is one I would completely and utterly oppose.